supply. This is the game model supply. These are a bunch of supply tokens I've just chucked over here. Um, let's chuck in a few trucks as well so we can have a look at those. So, what is supply and what do you need it for? Essentially, these tokens, um, and this is called one supply point. Um, you'll notice it's quite different on each side. I'll explain that in a minute. One supply point of one SP. Um, and this is basically um, the way the game represents food, ammunition, fuel, um, repairs, you name it. Um, you can have a supply point or a supply token. It can be a bit confusing. When I first saw these, I thought, right, this one represents ammo, that one represents fuel. Not so. Um, this one represents a supply point. A supply point is equal to four tokens. Often when you make pay out supply, it will cost you a certain number of tokens. But you can consolidate them into supply points, um, just to sort of save counters, I suppose. Um, but they're the same resource, it's just different quantities thereof. So when do you spend them? Um, the main time you'll spend them is if you want to shoot something. Um, if you want to fire your artillery, when you look at the uh, the value, the strength of your artillery, and you will look at the table, it will tell you how many tokens you've got to spend to shoot that artillery. And they'll have to be sitting close to that artillery piece. If you want to fire in combat, as in sort of your regular troops, your infantry, your tanks, or whatever, you want to shoot the dudes in the next hex, um, you're going to have to pay tokens to do that. If you want to fuel your vehicles, so tanks or tracked or wheeled vehicles are going to have to spend fuel if they want to move. And the final time you might... Oh, aircraft is the other thing. If you want to refit your aircraft so that they can fly again, um, you'll need to spend tokens. The final thing, I think, is um, you have also what's called trace supply, which I'll explain in a minute. If you can't make trace supply and you're out of supply, you can eat your um, your ammunition or your fuel. You can eat your supply um, to keep your units from going into you know, unsupplied mode, which is not good. So the next obvious question to ask is, okay, I need this stuff, how do I actually get it to where I want it to be? Um, you know, if this guy here decides that he wants to shoot at, let's say, at this guy here, he wants to shoot him, or he wants to shoot him, they're going to need to spend supply. Um, essentially the rule is, if it's in the hex next to them, they can use it. There's an ammo dump in the hex next to them, they can use it. And if it's within five movement points of them, which across the desert, I'll just check what it is on the movement chart, the terrain check effects chart. So we've got open, leg movement is one, so it's going to be able to move five spaces across desert. So if the ammunition, or the, sorry, the supply rather is anywhere within five of him, he will be able to spend it to attack that. Um, the other way to move it is with HQs. So this HQ here, it's got two values. It's got its movement value, which is currently naught. If it flipped over to its move side, you know, that increases to 15, and it's got another value. And this value is for what's called throwing supplies. And essentially, if this is next to a uh, supply point, it can chuck that supply point eight movement hexes. Um, and those movement hexes are counted in um, using wheeled vehicles normally. So it would be able to sling that supply over to this guy here and he could use it. And the final way, of course, is you have trucks. 
and you can load trucks, a 2T truck, and hold two tokens, it can move around, and then it can drop supplies where you need them. Alright, I said that wheeled or tracked vehicles need a supply to move, so this wants to move its six spaces, it needs to spend supply. There are a few ways to pay that cost. One. Let's say you have an entire stack of vehicles. You can spend one whole supply point to move the entire stack, and they will be able to move through the entire turn, all the phases in that turn. That's one way of doing it. Two, you can spend a supply point at a HQ and all the vehicles, or the vehicle units, within its supply range, you know, within its throw range of eight, they will all be supplied, and again, for the entire turn. Or, you can just pay one token per unit, so one T, um, that much, and that unit will be able to move for this phase, so this movement phase, but then if it managed to get an exploitation, it would not be able to move in the exploitation phase. Um, so that's often going to come down to a calculation of what's most efficient, but those are the three ways to spend supply to get your vehicles moving.